Hey guys, Alish here. I um, wanted to make a quick video explaining what my Gorilla Mixing on Digital Consoles course is about and whether or not it's right for you because I've been getting a lot of questions about it from the emails that we have been sending and from the Facebook campaigns. Now, the question whether or not this is right for you is something that you will have to answer on your own. Uh, what I can do is provide more information on how this thing actually works, um, who, is, who it is meant for, and um, whether or not uh, these might be topics that you will be interested in. If we take a look at the sales page uh, for this particular course, uh, at the top you will see the basic question that I'm trying to answer. And this is a situation that I know a lot of us are really struggling with. And uh, I know a lot of people in the live sound industry that have to do a lot of work with basically zero preparation time. And there is always this time pressure factor that is uh, contributing to the stress levels um, and just the unease of doing what we want to do but in less than ideal situations. And this online course, Guerrilla Mixing, is basically just that. Guerrilla Mixing on digital consoles will teach you how to mix on a digital console with little to no sound check or prep time and get the best results under the worst con conditions. Meaning that I'm taking all of my experience from more than 20 years of working live audio sound um, and um, explaining all the tips and tricks that I have for these particular situations uh, that will ensure that you are really well prepared for these um, and uh, that you make the most out of them. Now, I'm pretty sure that this has all happened to you, right? Um, I have a few suggestions of situations that might have happened or uh, you have been involved with. Um, and these are pretty standard, um, like there's always a, a time crunch um, that you have to consider when you're doing these uh, guerrilla mixing situations. And uh, it's not that uncommon. It happens to, I would dare say, most of us, especially from the experience that I got from talking to other engineers and doing research before um, trying to launch this online course, is that everybody has been involved in these situations at one level or another. So this is quite common in our industry, unfortunately. But we have to develop techniques um, to combat this. And that's why I put together this online course to make this transition a bit easier for you. Now, what you will learn in the Gorilla Mixing Digital uh, Guerrilla Mixing on Digital Consoles course is explained on this page. Um, and I also made a short introductory video. Um, and a part of that video I'll show to you right now. I wanted to make a quick video letting you know how this entire thing works. Now, there are going to be six major lessons. One lesson per week. And they are going to be divided into two parts. The theoretical part is going to be pre-recorded in short videos like this one, which you can watch at your own pace in your own time. Each video will be followed by a short quiz just to make sure that um, you understood all of the key points. The second part of the lessons are going to be live sessions. They're going to be six, one per week. They last about 60 minutes or so. And in those lessons, we revisit the topics that you have just seen in your pre-recorded sessions, go into more detail, answer any questions that you might have, and then do some practical exercises just to make sure that you can apply um, all of the knowledge that you've just received to your own work. As I have mentioned in the video, um, this pilot course, Guerrilla Mixing on Digital Consoles, will be spread over six weeks. There will be pre-recorded lessons and there will be live sessions. Live sessions will take place every Monday starting on March 18th um, and they will cover basically all of the stuff that you have learned in the previous lessons before you attend the live session. And we discuss that and then we 
um, make sure that we have practical knowledge that can be applied to your personal work. And the first lesson we will be talking about we will be talking about prevention because I really think that there are a lot of techniques and tips that you can use um, to actually prevent guerrilla mixing situations from happening. And these are the strategies that will avoid stressful circumstances. And we will talk about how to get the right information and avoid painful mistakes. Now, in this first lesson, there's a, there's a snippet called Tactics of Prevention. And um, I'll show you a quick video of um, what's going on in lesson number one. That brings me to the second point that I want to make. Be proactive. Being proactive means not waiting for information to get to you, but rather you going out and getting the information that you need on your own. And this might seem like a logical thing to do, but you won't believe how many times I see engineers sort of begrudgingly mumbling to themselves in terms of, oh, I don't have that information and nobody will tell me anything, but they won't pick up the phone to call somebody or they won't do just a few minutes of research to lessen that burden on them. Don't be that engineer. Now we are all eager to start learning about, you know, mixing tips and tricks and how to EQ a specific instrument. But the, the guerrilla mixing does not start there. It actually starts with a lot of stage work that has to be done before you can actually get behind the, on the console. So in module number two, we will be talking about the decisions that you have to make while you are still prepping on stage uh, and the importance of stage work, something that will be discussed in this following video. Stage work will be the key to your success. Our work always starts on stage at the sound source. So let's talk about sound sources, instruments, microphones, musicians. It's going to be key in preventing major issues down the line. And when I say major issues, I really talk about the noticeable stuff. Signal loss, feedback, you know, the stuff that we are always trying to avoid. Now, you might get the impression from these snippets that I attempt to talk about generalizations and um, the theory of things, but we get really, really specific I just like to uh, start broad and then go into the minutiae of things. And when it gets to the details, we actually talk about positioning the microphones and how to use the best tactics um, to ease your work later down the line. Um, here's a snippet of um, a lesson on how to place your microphones on a snare drum. Let's take a look at what I commonly see on stages. The top microphone is placed next to the beta head and the bottom microphone is placed almost perpendicularly to the bottom resonating head. That could create a few issues, especially with the bottom head microphone. In such a position, the bottom snare microphone gets a lot of SPL level, a lot of air pressure directly to the microphone head, the microphone diaphragm, and you could actually clip the microphone itself and that is absolutely not desirable. Plus, you get the direct sound of the snares, which can be very, very annoying, especially in the high end. Third week in, we actually start talking about your work behind the console. And um, there are many topics that we discuss uh, in this module. I talk about the techniques for quick console setup, including channel processing and effect strategies. And talking about effect strategies, Here's a little snippet where I talk about the one reverb setup. A plate reverb is, in my opinion, a reverb that can be manipulated very quickly into various modes, into various lengths, and still retain this musical feeling. That's why I'm choosing the plate. If I have the opportunity, I would adjust it in a way that I would sort of reduce the ratio of earlier reflections and favor the tail. Um, I find it that if I apply the same reverb to a lot of channels, uh, having a lot of early reflections will muddy up my mix and will make it really dense and really non-transparent. So I uh, opt out for the tail instead of the early reflections in terms of ratio. And that ratio could be uh, 40 to 60 or even 35 to 65 sometimes. 
The following modules will be dedicated to um, detailed explanations on how I approach line check, how I work with monitors, and um, how I actually perform my so-called two-handed technique for mixing, which I use in just about every gorilla mixing situation and has worked really, really well for me. Now, I have shown you uh, a lot of these snippets from the pre-recorded lesson material, but I have done a pilot course on gorilla mixing last year. And um, let me show you just uh, how the live lessons uh, look uh, multi-track recordings this is something that uh, i advise every sound engineer to do if you have the option for every gig just make a multi-track recording it doesn't have to be the entire show but record like two or three songs um, you don't have to do anything with them but just have them uh at your disposal so if you have time to then go back to your studio or your warehouse or whatever um, place of work that you have to set up your console, you have some material to work with. It's especially beneficial if you can do that maybe in the next day or so while your memory is still fresh um, about, you know, how maybe the, the band sounded and then you can go back, zero out the console and start from scratch and see if you can do something uh, faster and, and sort of uh, get there quicker. I think one of the biggest benefits of this course will not only be the content from me, but it will also be the support that you get uh, through this online course. Um, you will have dedicated 24-7 support from me uh, and a dedicated group, group of your peers. And we will talk about uh, all of the things that might be on your mind and discuss potential problems that you might be facing with your work and try to find the best solutions for them. It's a really good networking platform as well, where you can get a lot of contacts um, and expand your horizons and broaden your knowledge by talking to uh, people of the same branch and of the same interest group as yourself. Now, in addition to uh, the pre-recorded uh, sessions and the live sessions, there will all also be a private lesson which is basically a 30 minute um, private lesson with me one-on-one -on -one, where we can talk about just about anything you want to talk about regarding live sound or even anything else that you might want to discuss it's a great opportunity for us to discover how to implement uh, what you have learned in this course to your uh, particular work or your practices or maybe even solve a problem that you have been struggling with. So these private lessons uh, are really well received and I think we have a lot of fun learning from each other. So how does it all work? This entire course will take place online. All you need is basically a computer and an internet connection. Um, the live sessions last about an hour and the pre-recorded sessions are just video snippets that are maybe two, three minutes long. Um, there's maybe six or seven of them in each module, and they are followed by quick quizzes just to make sure that you have um, internalized and understood everything that was said and suggested in those uh, structured lessons. I've mentioned the private uh, sessions, and I've mentioned that we will be chatting to each other in an online um, community platform, uh, Mighty Networks. We have a dedicated channel uh, where you can talk to your peers and talk to me um, for the entire duration of this course. Now, all of the course materials will be available to you uh, without any restrictions. So you have lifetime access to all of the pre-recorded lessons and also all of the live sessions will be recorded so that you can go back and take another look at them um, when you have time or if you need to uh, refresh your memory on some topics. Um, there's a, a video intro that will explain what I'm doing right now uh, in a condensed form on the sales page. And then I talk a bit about what guerrilla mixing actually is. Um, it's basically mixing against all odds with no time to prepare, where you have um, 
a, a major lack of information going on. And these are just my techniques um, that I have developed through the years to help me get through these situations. And I find it really useful to share them with other people um, and uh, discuss what can be done better for your own work and your own practices. Now, there are some frequently asked questions that uh, you might find answers to. Uh, first of all, we have already mentioned that the course lasts for six weeks, so there will be uh, six modules lasting for a week and then one live session every Monday. Um, if you can't attend a live lesson, a live, live lesson, don't worry, because all of the lessons, like I mentioned, will, will be recorded and you will always have access to them. Um, if you know that there is something that is bothering you or that you would like to have answered, you can also send your questions in advance and I will get to them during the, the live session, even if you're not present. Um, there will be a nice certificate at the end of this, um, at the end of this course. And um, this is a major question that I get all the time now. Do I need a, a, a console to um, attend this course? Absolutely not. We will be working with free remote software that you can choose from any uh, brand or any module of a digital console. It will just um, explain more about the tactics and approaches to guerrilla mixing situations rather than dealing with them on a specific uh, brand and model of a digital uh, console. Um, you do need to have some general knowledge of how digital consoles work because I'm not going into details about, you know, patching and routing because these are specific to uh, different manufacturers and different models. So to cover all of them would be um, an impossible task, especially in the limited time frame that we have. But you do need to um, at least encounter um, a digital console and know what it is all about. Um, maybe you have worked with, with them on several occasions, which I believe most of, uh, most of us have. So I don't think there will be a problem if you are not really, really uh, well trained on a digital console. But to have a broad knowledge on um, how to operate one is uh, quite beneficial. And if you have any questions about this entire uh, process and this entire course, you can always email me at info at and I will uh, promptly um, answer all of your questions. Like I've mentioned, I've already done a pilot training course uh, last year, uh, Gorilla Mixing, um, and uh, the responses were quite favorable. That's why we decided to expand it this year. Um, this year we have more modules, we have more content for you guys. Um, so we discovered what was working and we are now building upon that and maybe tweaked a few things um, that we found were lacking in the previous course. So just uh, here are some testimonials from previous participants and participants come from all over the globe. Uh, now, Emmanuel here is from Nigeria, uh, Richie attended from Austria, um, and we had participants from Australia, the US, Canada, and so on. So it will be a multicultural experience. Now, the next uh, section of the sales page is quite important to me. The Gorilla Guarantee basically um, allows you to try out the course, and if for any reason you're not satisfied um, after two modules, you can just send me an email that this is not for you and you will be uh, fully refunded. And this is something that I'm really, really, um, really conscious about. And I want to make sure that everybody sort of finds um, their way and finds um, whatever they need to uh, have answered in this online course. So your satisfaction is my number one priority. Uh, so you have this option to actually um, start the course and for the first two modules, you know, get the entire hang of it. Uh, and then if if you're not satisfied or if, it, if you find it's not for you, then you can just let me know and you will be refunded uh, for your tuition. Now let's quickly recap 
There will be six information pack modules with pre-recorded material and live sessions. Um, now these are about le real life applications and tested strategies. Like I've mentioned, I've been doing this for quite a long time and um, everything that I'm talking about in this course is something that I use on a regular basis. Um, there will be seven weeks of 24 seven support from me and a dedicated group of your peers. I, I've mentioned the Gorilla Guarantee, which lets you try out the course. Um, and if you're not satisfied, have your money returned. And then you have lifetime access to all of the course materials. Now, the entire course is priced at $297. Uh, you can just click on the button over here and it will take you to the sign up page where you can um, then make a payment and um, start this course on March 18th. I hope this will answer a few questions that you might have and encourage you to join me in this Gorilla Mixing on Digital Consoles pilot course. Um, I'm really excited and looking forward to it and I'm really hoping that you will be joining uh, us on this journey. Thanks a lot and take care.